All right, guys, welcome back to the show. We are actually at the Mad County Bill. We're gonna put a retaining wall in and do all the landscaping all the way around the house. We're waiting for some materials. So we're gonna work on this for a couple days. Um, this is all gonna get river rock. You can see where I've killed the grass. It's kind of the shape of the landscaping I want. And then it drops off. So we're gonna have like a two block retaining wall. So starting somewhere right here. And it's gonna go all the way down along the back side of the house. So we gotta dig this down to where we need it. Put like four inches of rock. And then we can start building our wall. But I'm gonna use the rotor tiller to loosen up the dirt so it's easier to scoop. block to kind of be level with my bottom trim or my cap and so this corner here is 22 and a half inches lower than that so that means I'm gonna need three blocks so that's just in the blocks that's 24 inches if I do three plus three and a half is 27 and a half or 22 and a half so that's five inches I gotta add three inches three to four inches of rock so we need to go down about eight inches from that point hopefully that made sense inch low which is what I wanted it I wanted it right at the bottom of that so that's perfect not too much put that way This is the process here, guys, on this first one. So now we need to do that both ways. So we've got different levels, so as we can level off of this one as we work that way, just keep the front of the block. Make sure they're touching in the front. All right, guys, so we're not doing too bad. We started here at this corner. And because this would be the tallest part of our wall, which is three courses, so it's about 27, 28 inches high. And now that we got that done, once this bottom course gets a couple inches into the ground, then we can eliminate it 
and just go to two courses and so on and so forth. So we're going two courses here. See this block is just getting below the ground so we're going to go one more um, so we're about an inch or two below and then we'll go down to one course. Yesterday we, we started here in this corner, it's three box, and then we worked all our way up to the drive and it dropped down to two rows and then it dropped down to one row. So kind of the process here is I use my rotor tiller to kind of dig down and we get the trench all dug out three inches below where the block's going to sit so we get three inches of gravel in there. We compact it. And then our next block will come right off here. And it's gonna go from three courses down to two. And I, we should be able to run two courses the whole back side of the house. So there's points where this whole block like will be in the dirt up to here, but that's all right. It's what you want, it makes it real solid. We come back and fill this all with rock. Gotta get back filled with rock, provide good drainage, and this will last a long, long time. So we made it all the way around to here. We're going from two to one. So just dig a few inches below this one, add rock, compact it, and then we can run our, our uh, wall block right across the edge of that. So half of it'll sit on this one and half of it'll sit on the rock. See, I left this down a little bit lower here, um, just because it's where we're always coming out, in and out. We'll probably end up making a path over to our garden and where our chicken coop is. Um, we got this hose reel, which I just mounted to a piece of, it's a two foot by two foot concrete pad. Um, this is from Giraffe Tools. It's a, ho a stainless steel hose reel. You can mount it to the wall, you can mount it to um, the ground so I just put this pad here and mounted it and uh, that's going to come in handy um, to take water out to the garden you can see our nice interrupting rooster is at it you guys next year we'll add some uh, plants and stuff in here 
we wanted a walkway through here, so I'll probably put some blocks eventually because we have our canning kitchen right on the back side, so we can just walk right through here. But this uh, makes makes it look nice and clean, finished. Um, it was obviously a lot of work, um, but I'm happy that I did it and it turned out awesome. Here is a um, good example of why I use this color match trim on the bottom of all my buildings. As you can see, bring your rock up to your bottom trim, but you can still see under there. Um, I really don't like my landscaping material, especially if it was mulch, to come up to here. It's just going to hold moisture in here. Um, but this looks really nice um, where the rock doesn't come completely up there. It matches the house and just looks nice and finished versus seeing your green grade board. All right guys, thanks for watching. That's gonna be a wrap on this landscaping video. Um, these retaining wall blocks we used were 18 um, inches long, um, about 10 inches deep, and roughly eight inches high. Uh, they weighed about 70 pounds a piece. They're pretty heavy. We filled them with rock. I will say the most important uh, part of building a retaining wall is that first layer. Make sure you get some rock underneath that bottom row, get that first one nice and uh, level, and the rest of it will be um, pretty easy. But the landscaping rock we used inside our uh, retaining wall is two inch um, clean river rock. Um, it's what I like to use. It's easy. I can take my blower, blow the leaves out of it, and the rock stays in place. Just kind of my personal preference. We appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions on this, leave comments in the um, video. We'll do our best to answer them. Um, but as always, thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the next video.